Hi, this is a uh, video to show you how to push one of the uh, examples in Qt5 to the iPhone simulator. So my setup right now is I'm using uh, Qt520 um, and Qt Creator that comes with Qt520 and I'm using Xcode 463. There's a new version, newer version of Xcode version 5, uh, but it works, what I'm doing right now works with 463. All right, so what I want to do first is open uh, Qt Creator and look for iOS uh, examples. So um, look for an iOS tag um, somewhere in here. There's, right now there's one right here, iOS. So I'm gonna click this, it's gonna select only the examples that are compatible with iOS. And I'm gonna pick the, uh, the analog clock example, actually this one here. Before I do that, I'm gonna go to the top and here I'm gonna pick Qt520 for iOS. Um, and then I'm going to cl click on this example right here. So it takes a while to open up, and now I have um, the example loaded up. Um, I'm going to switch here to iPhone Simulator. It's already picked, but see that I have three options either uh, compile for the desktop, compile for an iPhone. Um, or compile for the iPhone simulator. I'm going to pick this and I'm going to click release. Um, I found in videos that um, some of the demos by Qt people were uh, going directly to release. So it may be, I think, um, maybe less code. The code is a little lighter. Um, so now that I've picked this, I can um, just build. Build and run. So I've clicked on the, on the little um, green triangle. It's now deploying right here to the simulator and our simulator starts in the back right here and I have my clock so the, um, the clock and that's the current time 9.35 9.35 so um, I was able to deploy the example directly to the simulator